Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me in another video of the Like a Boss Facebook training section. So today in this video, we're going to be talking about lookalike audiences, just kind of breaking them down, when they're useful, what you want to do with them. And this is another custom audience you can find in the audiences section of your ads dashboard. Uh, we talked about retargeting audiences, creating those who have viewed your product, those who have added your product to the cart, those who have purchased your product. Now as those audiences grow, you can create what they call lookalike audiences, which pretty much allows Facebook to do its thing, its automatic optimization, and find a few million people who they consider a you know close match to that audience that you have. It creates an audience that looks a lot like that original audience. So this is a great like audience to reach out to new parts of your niche. Great way to scale once you have a really good winning campaign going. You can use these audiences for a whole bunch of things. So let's just walk through how to create a simple lookalike audience here and the options you have. So in the audiences dashboard here, we have the create audience tab. We're going to click that one and instead of custom audience, we'll go with lookalike audience. Now we need to choose the source here. We need to have at least 100 pixel fires happening on whichever audience or whichever piece of information that we're creating a lookalike off of. Now, when you're creating lookalikes, you're trying to get to as close of a person to that ideal customer you have. So if you're selling a certain product, we want to find people who look alike the audience who has bought that product. And this is a, one of the reasons why we like to set up custom audiences that not only track the viewers, but it also separates the actual buyers from the people who have just viewed. Because once that buyer group, that buyer custom audience hits that 100 fire mark, you can create that lookalike audience of those buyers, which really helps that scaling. Now, the larger this initial custom audience is, the better your, your audience is going to be because the more data Facebook will have. So once you hit about 1,000 pixel fires on a purchase pixel um, and a purchase, purchase custom audience, that is a lot of data for Facebook to move forward with. Now, don't worry if you're still sending traffic in. You don't need to co continue re-uploading all these audiences. They do work dynamically. So the lookalike audience will update as your custom audience updates and as you go. So it is working dynamically. Now, if we're uploading a email list, for example, to create a custom audience off of, then that does not work dynamically because we took an outside source of emails of information and put it on Facebook. But if we're just starting with the Facebook pixel tracked custom audiences, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and we'll go with just kind of going through an example here. Cow tagging is the old shirt we did. So we'll go with the cow tagging purchase audience. Now the country, United States. Now our audience, we can go for a, for a few different ranges, 0 to 10%. The higher the percentage, the less likely they are to be a close match. They're farther apart from that lookalike as we want. Um, so if we're at 0 to 1%, that's a, as close to those people as possible demographically and with all the stats and what Facebook has, that data. Now that doesn't mean that the 0 to 1% is always the best converting. Sometimes it can be a 2%, sometimes it can be a 3%. Sometimes they all will convert and you have a huge, you know, a couple million more, 10, 20 million more people that you're able to reach out to and show your product to. So we like to create custom audiences and look like audience here for each range um, that we have, especially on the purchase end. Because when we go down, we don't have to just use these audiences alone, actually. We can actually take an audience and combine it with an interest in your niche to even dial in that audience a little bit more. So you'll take that starting two to three million people, add that interest, so all those people in that three million, whoever likes that interest is going to be your targeted audience. So you can do a very broad interest that you might not be able to do on its own in a, a in an advertisement, but if you take a broad interest and combine it with a broad lookalike, it becomes a targeted audience. So just some possibilities that you can use here to expand your reach. Now, we don't have to just go one at a time. We can actually go to the advanced options and do, you know, six is the max we'll do at a time. So here if we wanted to create these, we'll just go 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, and 6%. So you can see the estimated reach is about 2 million added for each, and this is what the lookalike names would appear. Now I've already created these lookalikes for the cow tagging shirt, so I don't need to go through it. We will just show you that. 
So here's our lookalikes here, all ready to go. Dun, dun, dun. And we actually created these lookalikes from the email list. So we uploaded this manually, and these create these lookalikes were created from that custom audience instead of the initial pixel. And that's just kind of doubling up, having more lookalike audiences. And like I said, there's lots of possibilities out there with your ads. Now you can go ahead when you're creating an advertisement in the custom audiences section you can choose these look lookalikes just like any other custom audience for retargeting or you can just go ahead and click the box here and create ad to get moving on that way so guys i hope you uh, are seeing a little bit more about what lookalike audiences are what you can do with them the possibilities if you have any questions or comments feel free to hit me up my name is travis patel have a good one